Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a mailbag time and currently I just received the iRange uh, transmitter here. Now this is a multi-protocol transmitter which means it's basically compatible with just about every single receiver out in the market right now. For example, this can actually run FRSky, FlySky, uh, well, FlySky first generation and second generation, FRSky X protocol, the regular FRSky protocol, SBus, IBus, PPM, just about a lot of things futabo or futaba and um spectrum dsmx2 dsmx and just a lot a lot of things even the chinese you know clones and toys and just just it's just insane all, all these features so i will be making a playlist of this later on uh just the amount of features and options it has is just insane and I, it'll be just a very long and boring video so i'm going to kind of like split it up into pieces and as well do, as do, do a tear down also show you how to uh, make the gimbal a little bit you know more stiff because it was very loose when i first got it however i have been using it for a couple hours now uh, i've used, flown a couple brushed quads with this and it was actually pretty nice actually um but i mean it just works so uh, that's all i could really say another thing to take note of with this guy is um if you're a pincher you're gonna have problems depending on how you hold it if you hold it like this you're gonna be fine but if you hold it like this you're gonna be hitting those switches up here for example let me show you see that and i don't have the biggest fingers in the world and i'm still hitting them so the amount of space uh between the full deflection of the stick and this is very small maybe maybe around 10 millimeters i think yeah possibly 10 millimeters here which is like one centimeter right there yeah so it's it's, it's very tiny as you can see right there so yeah so yeah take that into consideration when purchasing this however if you i think if you bring up uh get longer sticks or make the sticks longer you probably can avoid that issue so yeah so that's something to take note of here now just a quick overview of this let's just say uh it has four two position switches two three position switches and two potentiometers so it's pretty nice uh the battery bay is a four double a batteries and can be removed to actually take a 2s lipo or you know lithium ion cells as you can see here it just pops right off and it does come with a 2s balance kind of thing here going on for it so that's pretty nice that all comes with it not the batteries obviously but um yeah and to power well supposedly you can actually even edit your modules i mean your models through uh the usb here they do provide you the usb as well as give you a receiver uh which is s bus um but i don't i think it's i range s bus and as you can see here they do give you the usb this is nothing here and this is the power of the guy on overall it feels pretty nice feels feels good i mean it doesn't feel super cheap but um the gimbals do feel a little bit plasticky, so that's something to take note of. Uh, if I really like this, actually, I might go ahead and do a gimbal mod where we put the uh, the M9 gimbals or M7 gimbals on this because I do have a couple of those, and I've been wanting to do the gimbal mod on the Eternity Evolution. But if this proves to be very good, then I might go ahead and go put it on this guy. All right, so let's see what else we got. I got some new antennas. Uh, some of them, I don't know their names. Just two of them, I don't really know their names. And um, the other two are just basically really AC Pagato. So these, you know, I avoided purchasing these when they first came out um, because, first of all, I don't really fly far, so I really don't um, have the need to keep trying different antennas. My place is just static, which is that field. And the Pagato, the Pagato. When, once I figured out what the, these were made of, this is basically a PCB, as you can see here. So these, this is fiberglass. And if, you know, prop hits that, that's broken right away. So this is the reason why I avoided getting them. However, I just wanted to try them and see how well they perform. And um, they do give you these rubber things that come with them. And you can just wrap them around. So, yeah, I got two of them. One SMA, one RP SMA. One for my Fat Shark, basically. And the other one for the quadcopter. So that's all nice. They give you this. And you're expected to put this on yourself. So that's nice of them, I guess. And here we have these. These feel pretty good. Uh, they might be able to take an impact. I don't know how good they are. This is pretty cool, actually. So this is the whole antenna here. So that's just pretty insane. Uh, I don't know how this is going to work out. I'm going to be testing them very soon. So, yeah, just stay tuned. I'll leave a link to everything here down below if you're curious. And I also got new motors. And they are the F40 version 3, I think. Yeah. Oh, sorry. The V2s, the new ones. So... 
I purchased these. However, I didn't purchase a regular KV. I purchased the 1600 KV, if I remember correctly. Yeah, these are the 1600 KV, which is 1600 KV. Uh, the reason why I did this is because I want to do a 6S build. And uh, seeing if it actually performed like a 4S. Because, you know, some people are saying you could actually use a 6S and it'll draw less amps and perform just as good as a 4S with like a very good battery. So... That's going to be pretty interesting. I really want to try that and I will be testing that very soon on the channel. So that means basically, you know, the battery doesn't have to be super crazy C rated to enjoy it. You could basically just start buying piece of crap, not super piece of crap, but pretty cheap success lipos and have fun. So that's going to be pretty cool and pretty interesting. Um, I will be trying this and I can't wait to actually get started on this. So I um, also got a new frame. It's a six inch from Jep RC. It's called the Mark II. Uh, we will be building this six inch with these motors actually um i have not decided the components just yet but we will see what we're going to set up with this and uh this is going to be pretty insane i, re I really want to see because i don't want to go super light with this i actually want to go heavy and this frame is not heavy but it's like you know the 120 grams uh weight kind of frames which is the freestyle big frames like the martian alien uh those kinds of things so this is this is what this is what's going to give me a nice good base test and this is what i'm planning on doing here now i also got this i don't know if, I, if you've seen my previous video i mentioned something about this it's like a 30 dollar portable soldering iron um and i really want to try this it does not have an oled as you can see it's just a potentiometer kind of thing going on here from 200 to 480 degrees celsius so this is going to be pretty interesting it already comes prepared for xc60 connector now you might say okay well where's the negative all well, the negatives in there it's just routed inside this piece so yeah you just plug it in uh, i will be reviewing this if you guys are interested tell you how it went because um yeah it's gonna be pretty fun pretty interesting feels very nice and when you put it down it's not gonna touch anything as you can see here so that's very nice so that's pretty cool and uh here just takes dc so i don't know i think it takes a 4s and a 3s and a 5s i believe uh well, i'll go ahead and i'll leave a link to this down below if you want to check the specs and i think that's it yeah that's all i got really if i remember correctly yeah, so far that's it. Well, I've gotten more motors, but um, I didn't make a mailbag time for those. But you'll be seeing them soon on builds. Currently, I'm finishing the Patreon uh, giveaway build. And uh, the 7-inch quadcopter build is coming up with the Emax 2207 light motors with low KV. Because I want to see how, if I can get it to basically fly more than 5 minutes, that's my goal. Hopefully, it'll work out pretty beautiful. So, we'll see how that works. But, man, these motors are absolutely beautiful. they're very nice actually super nice so and i really love the fact look how long the wire is here that's a good i don't know like 14 centimeters 140 millimeters that's pretty insane yeah so those are good that's very good good job t motor i'm starting to love t motor slowly and surely because lately you know most of their products have not failed me and uh one of my new favorite motors, actually, the F60 V3. That one's just pretty insane. And, well, that's it, guys. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.